What's up? It's Allie. Welcome back to Night Rain. When we last left off, I had a miserable time getting through that thing. But, I've set us up with everything we need to get this done. I uh, followed the instructions that I outlined at the end of the last video, and uh, uh, created the conditions to get what should be the, the alternate ending that gets us all the CGs. There wasn't a lot of text that changed along the way. Most of it was exactly the same, and it's actually kind of convenient that we followed this off of um, the Akemi scenes last time. It's just, uh, we kind of, we're kind of getting the experience because we did AG first and then Akemi, but it's just not how it would actually have played out if you were doing it yourself. Anyway, there was a tiny bit of text that changed here. That's the second time when someone's asked me this, because Monica was like, hey, if you had to kill somebody, would you do it? And then, and that's because Akemi asked us this earlier. What was that? Never mind. And then you just look at the choice. That's all that changed there. So now we're going to load to here where things are actually different. This is... This is past all the stuff, after the school trip, after all that stuff happens, even in the military base things. And just we just had our argument with Sayori and somebody knocked on the door. Coming! Sorry about that. Who is it? to see you're still in one piece after. Without thinking, I push Akemi outside, shutting the door behind us. This is bad. What in God's name are you doing here? I haven't spoken with her since the day of the affair. Wait, could she have... I knew she couldn't be trusted. I knew it! Akemi looks a little taken aback by my sudden outburst. I was hoping we could talk. About? I fold my arms and stare at her expectantly. She sighs and runs her fingers through her long blonde hair. Look, I know you don't like it when people keep secrets from you, so I'm just going to say it. I'm the associate director of the Nameless Organization. I raise an eyebrow. That... how do I phrase this? That group of people who've been trying to kill you and your friends. But! I didn't sell you out. I had no idea the base was planning to attack the fair until it was too late. If I had known earlier, I would have tried to stop them. I, I would never have let anything happen to you guys, or any civilians for that matter. Akemi, what are you doing here? Oh, I was just checking in on you. I absolutely had to make sure you were okay. And you are, thank God. I am so relieved. And I am not buying it. So, can I come? Yuri steps out from the house and onto the front porch. She sees Akemi. Oh, hello. Sorry, my memory's a little fuzzy. What did you say your name was again? Akemi takes a few steps back, her eyes wide with shock. Uh, hello. Miss Nakasane? Yes, that's my name. Well, it's nice to see you're doing well after the, uh, accident. Thank you. Akemi, you're such a stupid idiot. Why? Why would you bring up the accidental things? Do you have a death wish? Are you alright? You look a bit pale. I'm fine. Oh, I see. If so you're a friend of Hallie's. Why didn't you say so? What is she doing here? Oh, Monica, answer the question. Oh, birds. She's getting tense. I might let you flip. Uh, we were just talking. Talking? About what? Monica eyes us suspiciously, her gaze never leaving Akemi. Uh, I'm here, cause... I... want to join the Literature Club. What? My, my, standards surely have fallen. I figured the Nameless Organization would have at least sent someone a little more... I don't know, inconspicuous. But now I understand, they sent the most annoying best imaginable, didn't they? No, that's not why I'm here. Please, listen to me. You have ten seconds. All right, all right, all right. Think of me. You're a smart girl. You're... Shit, my mind is going blank. I just wanted to see Hallie. Why did I come here? Think, 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 think! Three. All right, deep breath. Just go for it. Look, I didn't let the organization know about your trip to the fair. Honestly, if I had known... I don't care about the fair. I was living a cold though. Two. Akemi, er, Akemi stares mortified. One, wait, zero. That's 
quite enough, Monica. I'm sure it can be isn't here to cause us any trouble. Are you? Absolutely not. I swear on my life I'm not. Have you lost your mind? This woman is the associate director for the same organization that's been hunting us, that wants you dead. I'm sure she had a good reason for keeping her position a secret, didn't you? Yeah, yes, totally. My job doesn't exactly afford me any or many opportunities to make friends, especially when I'm dealing with, uh, well, people like you. <laughs> Monica glares at Yuri and the women behind her. Yuri stares back, unblinking. After a long, awkward silence, Yuri speaks up. Monica, if Akuna were really a threat, don't you think she would have done something already? I don't think she would have come all alone like this. Maybe. But I can't take any chances. <sighs> I guess there's no point in throwing it at wolves yet. For now, we'll keep an eye on you. I promise, I won't do anything suspicious, okay? And, and, I, I'll tell you the truth, always. Well then, welcome to the club. Let's get inside before someone sees us. Follow me. Right, sure, okay. Oh boy, what did I get myself into? This feels amazing. You can set this place all yourselves. Lucky. That's really nice, isn't it? I can stay here forever! <laughs> I wouldn't complain. It really does feel lovely, doesn't it? I could almost fall asleep. <laughs> Me too! Hmm? I can complain I let their car down. You seem pretty happy. Hmm, I suppose I am. It's nice to finally have some peace and quiet. Yeah! It's really good. Sure. Hey, can I ask you something, Yuri? Of course, what is it? Don't misinterpret what I'm about to say, but... Are, are you the real deal? The genuine article? Like, are you really a Shutai? <laughs> but tell me, you're being rude! Just humor me. Well, if you must know, then yes, I am. I think the facility is designated in number 0261. Please don't repeat that around others. Oh, don't repeat it around Natsuki. Oh, so you can transform into... Well, that thing from last night. Last night? You mean you don't know? That monster ripped through dozens of people. There's not much left of the base. Or the bodies. Wow. Does she say they're an excellent liar? It actually wasn't her. Well, anyway, this is the first time I've seen a sheet tie up close and personal what I have to say here. But surprisingly pleasant. <laughs> well, yeah, when the military first told me about the escaped Chutai, I expected you to be, well, more monsters. It can be, I would know. Hey, uh, Yuri, pardon me asking, but how have you survived this long, outside the facility, I mean? But usually, should I go mad after a day or so and eat as many people as possible? Um, well, that's alright, I'm not trying to pry or anything, I'm just curious. It's nothing. I'm just lucky, I guess. I was found by a group of kind people who've been taking care of me. Kind, huh? Oh, Yuri, have you ever killed anyone? I know it's a weird question, but I have to know. Uh, uh. Oh, Yuri, you're so little! I won't judge you. If I had to kill people to keep myself alive, I'd probably do the same. I... Um... Yes, I killed someone. Uh, I didn't mean to. It was... About a week ago, I was going to see Natsuki regarding materials for the festival, but I... I don't know how to explain it. One second, I was absolutely fine. Well, I hadn't eaten anything in a couple of days, but I felt like my insides were being torn apart. And there was this, this horrible grinding noise. And I just... lost control. Lost control? As in, you blacked out? I think so. Afterwards, I remember everything. Every agonizing detail. And there was so much blood, I couldn't recognize anything. At first, I thought I had killed Natsuki too, at least until I saw you in her the following morning. I, I couldn't look her in the eye for a whole week after that. And, well, she, she still doesn't know it was me. If, if she ever found out. Yuri! She'd hate me. She'd despise me with all her will. She'd. Natsuki would never forgive me. I'd. I'd rather die than see her look at me like that. 
Pokemon's right. God, I'm Pokemon's right, are you? Yuri, you've made a mistake! You want to occasionally, but it's not something to brood over! You have no control of yourself! <laughs> Yuri, that should be a lot more worrying to you than it is. I know you have a more spare actions, that's what matters! Maybe, but what I do is unforgivable. But you are yourself! How can you hold yourself accountable? I have to hold myself accountable. If I don't, oh well. It's funny, I've never been a violent person, yet somehow I've ended up doing more harm than I ever thought possible. Perhaps I should tell her the truth. I think it's maybe best to wait for a little while longer, at least until the end of the month. You can talk to her then once things have calmed down a bit. Perhaps. Natsuki? Was she listening in? Okay, so is this the same scene? Yeah, this is Monica and Yuri talking to each other. Is this gonna be the same moment where she, like, takes him out? Because, if so, that chapter transition is extremely unreliable. <laughs> it's one of the ones that, like, consistently crashes. So I just wanna make sure. Don't do it, Monica! No! Okay, we got through it. <laughs> that was only one CG. Wait, no, that was zero CGs. We still have more to go. Something's going to change. Something has to. There we go. Oh, yeah, Akami's here. Hey, Natsuki. How's it going? <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm exhausted. Yesterday was pretty hectic. What? Nothing! Okay. Sorry to interrupt everyone, but we've got a lot of work to do. Now that Hallie's not here to do his share, we need to pick up the slack. Was it something I said? This, this is still going to happen then? Yup. No sign of her anywhere. I hope she's alright. Hallie, said someone. I turn around surprised. You shouldn't be here. Yuri's lost control of herself. Or over herself. If you don't leave now, she'll... Why did Akemi have to show up now? I turn back around and continue walking. You're being ridiculous. You have no idea what she's capable of. I'm telling you, you're gonna... Hello, Earth to Hallie. You're not even listening to me. She's going to kill you. Look, Yuri is... Whatever she's become, she's still my friend. I can't just abandon her. I won't. So either shut up and help me, or get the hell out of my way. Uh, you still have the syringe Dr. X gave you, correct? If she really is going berserk, then you'll have to use it. Not this again. I look at the syringe. I don't want to hurt her, but if Yuri's lost her mind, then maybe this is the best thing to do. <laughs> that came from behind the warehouse. I walk towards it, pushing past the damaged gate. Yes, I'm safe. Paranoid saving. Inside, I see Yuri standing in the middle of a large open area, surrounded by industrial machinery. The place is a mess. Machinery has been ripped apart. Metal is scattered everywhere. Yuri, it's me! Yuri doesn't say anything, but she does turn her head slightly. Her eyes are completely black. I walk over to her slowly, hands raised in a non-threatening manner. Her eyes narrow. Easy. Easy. It's me, Hallie. No. S stay away. She sounds like she's in pain. I'm not going to hurt you, Yuri. I just want to help. Please. She looks away. But, but not. Natsuki is fine. I hope Natsuki is fine. Come on. Let's go back home. We can talk there. <laughs> Her voice echoes throughout the factory. <laughs> Watch out. She's going to... Well, you have the balls, Alley. You gonna do it? Huh? What are you doing? Run! But I don't. Instead, I step towards Yuri. I'm not sure why, but it feels like the right thing to do. As I take a step forward, Yuri begins to transform. Her skin begins to tear itself apart. Her muscles converge, and her teeth grow sharper. And yet, I'm not afraid. 
Not even as the monster lunges at me, mouth wide open, ready to devour me whole. Instead, I raise my hand. As if in a trance, I reach out and place it on Yuri's cheek. Yuri pauses briefly. She stares at me. For a moment, I'm convinced that she's going to attack again, but instead, she seems confused. Huh? Am I hallucinating? Am I dead? Y you I take a step back. <laughs> the monster's eyes dart around wildly. The sound of machinery fades, and soon all I hear is our breathing. Eventually, the sound of Yuri's transformation ceases. He snapped her out of it. Oh. She looks back at me. You're very stupid, you know that? Without thinking, I wrap my arms around her, pulling her close. She tenses, but doesn't move. Hey, stop that. D don't be... Ali, please. This isn't... You shouldn't be... I don't know how to explain it, but I don't want to lose her again. So I hold her tightly, refusing to let go. Eventually, she relaxes and returns, in, returns the embrace. 